This past weekend marked the end of the Stage 3 Challenger Series. Now all that's left for NA Valorant for the rest of the year is the Playoffs and Masters, before leading into Champs at the end of the year. There are 8 available teams in the pool in which 3 can make it to Berlin. So who's going to make it? Welcome back to another episode of Off The Dome. My name is Dominic and today we're taking a preview of the North American Playoff Bracket. Let's start this all off with the Sentinels. The Sentinels has the same unchanging amazing roster that they had over in Iceland, and they look just as strong. In the Stage 3 Challengers 1 close bracket, they did actually lose a set to X set, losing 2-1 in winner semis. However, they went on to beat all of the top seeds on their way to win the Challengers 1 close bracket, beating Envy, 100 Thieves, and then X set in Grand Finals. I don't think it's controversial to say that Sentinels is probably going to get a spot to Berlin. They are the strongest team in North America, and also the strongest team in the world, and they're likely to win the playoff brackets as a whole. But knowing that they can lose a set to exit, I wonder if other teams will slowly start to adapt to the Sentinels, or if we'll see the Sentinels pull even further ahead. Now, Exit's the actual team I want to look out for here at the NA playoff bracket. Exit actually took a set off the Sentinels in winner semis, and later made it to Grand Finals, also beating 100 Thieves on the way there. They've been looking great as a team ever since Stage 2, slowly proving that they can beat NA's best, taking sets off of NRG built by gamers, Immortals, and then Envy in version 1, but had an unfortunate run in these stage 2 playoff brackets, losing to NRG and then Envy. Going into stage 3 though, they made what I thought was a bit of a questionable decision in dropping two of their star players in Weedit and Thwaifo for the young kid Zekin and the IGL Death. But they proved that their lineup of BCJ, Aaron, and Pure were already enough and with these new pickups, push them over the edge to become the highest level of North American talent, beating teams like Dark Zero, Rise, 100 Thieves, and of course, the Sentinels. Going into the playoff brackets, they are the second seed and look like a very strong contender for a spot in Berlin. Now there are a lot of roster changes in North American Valorant, but one lineup that has been near unchanging since 2021 is 100 Thieves. They've only made one roster change from Dicey to Ethan, but their team looks incredibly strong. Recently people have called into the question the consistency of some players like Hiko and Steel, personally I think it's a bit unwarranted but they have one of the undisputed best players in the world in Asuna. They have a strong team of proven winners, and that have been the top of NA Valorant for a long time. 100 Thieves was in condition for taking an Iceland spot after winning Stage 2 Challengers 1, but they lost to the Sentinels and Envy on their path to making it to Masters. In the Masters 3 playoff bracket, they are seeded third for the tournament, and again, look like very strong contenders for a spot in Berlin. Another team that has consistently been at the top of North American Valorant is Envy. They have proven time and time again that they can be the best in the world and can beat almost any top tier team, but have also had devastating losses when the time comes for them to prove themselves. Leading up to Masters 1, they were looking poised to take the whole tournament, even beating Sentinels to make it into Masters 1. But in the tournament, they lost to FaZe and Gen.G to place 4th. Similarly, in Masters 2 playoffs, they were looking poised to take a spot, but lost to Cloud9 and Version 1 to place 4th again. Based on skill and result, Envy look like a strong contender for Berlin, but it's only if they can perform at the time. Alright, you know what time it is. Either two, TSM are gonna win the grand finals. I'm honestly a little shocked that TSM actually won the whole tournament. After the game against Gen.G, that took way too f***ing long. TSM beat everyone that they needed to, never dropping a set the whole tournament. They beat their strongest rival on the way there, Gen.G, as well as the two other top contenders for the tournament in T1 and LG, finally beating the Dark Horses, FaZe, to win the whole tournament and get the 5th seed for the NA playoff bracket. Leviathan's looking incredibly strong on the team, as well as Bang is one of the... <laughs> Bang is so good, dude. And Bang proving to be an insane pickup, at worst doing well, and at best, top fragging and beating everyone. Along with one of the best players in the world, confirmed, you can't argue now, Wardell is doing insanely well, as well as Hazed, proving even though he's an old and the IGL is still able to frag out of his mind. In my last video, I talked about how TSM likely wouldn't make it to Berlin and likely wouldn't make it even to the playoff bracket, but honestly with their new roster, they are looking, and I hate to say it, because I think power rankings in Valorant are very difficult to describe because there's so many changes and so few opportunities for teams to prove themselves. But I think that TSM is looking like a top five team and it's no question. I think if TSM continue to play as they were playing in the closed qualifiers, they have a shot to make it to Berlin. Although it's a slim one, if they get the right bracket and can beat the right people, they can make the upsets needed to actually get a spot in Berlin. 
is it as strong as 100 Thieves and Exit? No. They've proven that they can beat other teams below them. They've had an insane streak of wins recently, and if they can carry that over to the next tournament, we could see TSM making it to Berlin. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm just coping. Maybe I'm just hoping. FaZe is one of those teams where you can see grace the top of Valorant, but they don't have the consistency to stay at the top. They play second at Masters 1, only losing to Sentinels, but went on to miss the qualifying for Masters 2 completely. In stage 3 challengers 1, they lost a Dark Zero, and then went on a streak beating Ghost Gaming, Immortals, KCP Rise, 100 Thieves, and LG to play second at the close qualifiers. This is more similar to their Masters 1 appearance, where they went on a streak beating all top North American teams. If they can continue this into the playoff bracket, we could see them go far. However, they would need to make some significant upsets in the bracket. While I think they can make a few, I think playing hot enough to make it all the way to a Berlin spot is questionable. Can we see FaZe going to Berlin? Potentially. But this is much less likely than even TSM. LG has had one of the biggest roster changes in all of North American Valorant. They dropped two of their players in Stellar and Thief, and then Moose became injured, leaving only your boy Dre and a Proto to build a new team around. They picked up Ban and Dazzle and subbed in Tig for Moose for now. Now, while it took them some time to get some footing, losing the V1 to miss out in Challengers 1, they came back and beat Resonate and Cloud9 Blue to cleanly make it to the close qualifier bracket for Challengers 2. While in close, they beat KCP and Rise to get their spot in playoff, but lost to TSM and FaZe to get the seventh seed in playoff. While their team is still growing into their shoes, the consistency of the headshot machine of Proto and a surprisingly consistent duelist in your boy Dre, the team might have a tough road to make it to Berlin. The final team to make it to the playoff is actually Rise. Now this is a team that I've been personally sleeping on because of their only recent success, but no one can doubt Rise's ability to win against top North American Valorant. Rise's strong lineup of players that have experience in top orgs like Immortal, Dignitas, and NRG proves that they can carry their weight. They have shown when they lose to teams like Gen.G, they can come back and beat them later on. Well, I think it's difficult for them to take a Berlin spot, especially when their first match is against the Sentinels, Rise no doubt has proven themselves that they deserve to be here. And with proper upsets, they can make it far. In my personal opinion, that's right, this is my opinion, please do not complain. I think Sentinels is almost guaranteed a spot. They're getting a spot. Sentinels is getting a spot, no questions. Will they win the tournament? They actually might not if Exit or even maybe 100 Thieves can prove to do well against them. In the next tier of teams that I think are very likely to make it to Berlin, we have Exit and 100 Thieves. Both of these teams look incredibly strong right now and have been able to rival the Sentinels in one way or another. I feel like Exit is the stronger of the two teams, but 100 Thieves has the X factor of Asuna on their team. Following that, teams that I think can make it include Envy and TSM. I think Envy has one of the strongest lineups in North America, but don't have the consistency at the very end to make it. Every time in Playoff or Masters, they choke the bag. But if they are somehow able to pull it together this time, we could see them making it to Berlin. As for TSM, they are on a hot streak. They look incredibly good and feel like they've got their mojo back, especially with Bang and Leviathan. Bang looking so good. And Leviathan, although he's not fragging out all the time, uses his utility perfectly as the perfect support player. I think that Rise, Phase, and Luminosity all have room to grow and have a very, very small chance of making it. That's just because of the competition being so strong with the Sentinels, X, and 100 Thieves, all these top teams really starting to make themselves distinct among the other North American teams. I think this playoff bracket is gonna be super interesting. Every team that's there deserves to be there. They've all proven to be the top of the top to make it there because there are so many good teams in North America and so few spots available. Now for these teams that have made it here, they still have the last chance qualifier to make it to champions. So even if they don't make it to Berlin, they will still get their opportunity. It feels like all of these storylines are starting to converge here at the North American playoff. Is Sentinels still the best? Probably yes. Will Xset prove that they can beat Sentinels again? Will Envy stop choking? Is 100 Thieves wash without Asuna? Is TSM actually back? Are y'all sleeping on Rise? Can Face Clan scam a bunch of kids for money and still be good at Valorant? And Luminosity? I hope this video helps you get some context for the playoff bracket. And if you have any friends that are looking to get interested in Valorant, show them this video, show them the tournament. It'd be a great time. And thank you for watching. It's been a fun time. If you want, subscribe. It's free. You get a video every once in a while in your inbox, mostly about the Valorant competitive scene. I'm not just stealing clips and highlights. I'm actually making some fresh content for you guys. I also have a Twitter and Discord if you want to come join and talk about esports. It's a fun time. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Have a good one. Peace.